This thing working? I'm live. Hooray. All right, uh, is the audio coming through? Test. All right, the audio is coming through. Desktop audio check. Uh, we should do lo-fi girl. Check. Can I hear it through my headphones? we doing today excellent question ba, 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 ba. chat all right let's probably move over here today we are going to be practicing some stuff we're gonna play a little bit we're gonna watch some some videos. We're gonna, I'm gonna do something. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'll be honest with you. Okay. <coughs> All right. Loosen up a little bit. We're gonna loosen up by playing a game, and then we're gonna and then we're gonna do our video. That's what we're gonna do. So, what game should we play? Well, first, let's check out what we need. Halo Infinite. Do we need anything? The audio is not coming through. All right. We got to check out our stuff. Everything seems to be going through fine. We are already max rank. Seasonal. Event. 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 Welcome to Apex. Bruh, I've already played Apex for like seasons on end. Alright. We don't need to do anything in there. Oops. All right, so Apex is done. Call of Duty, we're definitely behind. Destiny, I haven't even started. Fall Guys, we can do Fall Guys. Let me double check Fortnite, because Fortnite has those stupid weeklies that I despise, but we got to do them anyway. Actually, let me, um... All right. Uh, not available in this minute, whatever. Um, Mid-season. Not available to us. Okay. 
We could do the Kid Leroy thing, too. Halo Infinite, I already know that I finished. Overwatch. I finished. We're going to do Fall Guys. Why not? I know I'm behind on that. Okay. Red Envelope Rally. Do I have this event? Wasteland Warriors, Furry Friends, kinda cute, Koala. Red Panda, love it. Fruit and Veg Bundle. All right, what do we got? Blast Balls Trials, Extreme Hell. No, we never do that again. Solos, duos, and squads. Let's go. Why not? I don't... I'm not a particularly... F I'm not, I don't like that final mode. So, what do we have to do? Our weeklies, our red envelopes. Complete a red envelope challenge. Not a clue. What are they? Play any round whilst in a party. Oh, God, help us with that. All right, let's play. <laughs> Bum, bam, bum, 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 bam, bum, 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 Match found with 60 players. Great. Are we soloing? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, no, the slip and slides. Run! Holy moly. Damn frogs. Bro! Oh no, this is duos. No, this is squads, but we only got with two players. Me and this person. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Nice. Let's go, Drastico. I think uh, this is like a, this is impossible. Squads with only two people is borderline impossible. You, you'll never get enough points.
qualified. Nice. Next up. You know, between me and the guy, we might be able to pull it off. Stomping ground. Oh, I hate this mode with these damn hungry, hungry rhinos. Is there a way to get my ch Get out of the way. I think it's best to always stay in the middle. I've been seeing people do that in like online. Teammate. Oh boy. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Oh my god. Move, 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 move! Ooh, he almost got me. Bro, this game almost over. Oh wow, we're actually in the first. Nice. What the heck is this? No, not this stupid penguin mode. No! Oh, it's a team. Bro, I almost got him. Get him. Get the penguin. Are there more than one penguin? Yes, there is. There's two penguins. I think. Give me that penguin. Nice, nice, nice. God damn it, get off of me. Ah! Bro, this penguin is a slippery devil. I got you. Bro. Where did he go? Where did he go? Bro, he passed it to himself. Did we kill the penguin? Out of the way! <laughs> the penguin is done! I got him! The penguin is a murderer. God damn! Miku, you got it! You got it, Miku! Or whatever your name is. Got him, got him, we got him, we got him. Hold on to him, whoever you are. Me? 
bro. He got yeeted. What? I didn't lose. All right, we got the red envelope challenge done. We got a lot of challenges actually. Year of the Rabbit. Caught by the Kraken. Okay. Uh, red envelope challenges. What are they? Qualify from round three while in a party. I don't know about that. Oh, okay. There's some red envelopes under, under the daily. Play any show while... Well, okay. How, how do we get a party? Let's just go with Chief for right now. Let's go, Chief. Let's reply to some more comments. Why do I smell bubble gum? Track attack. Okay. Quickly, quickly. Part the comment. All right, we got. We actually got a full squad this time. Good. Run, chief. Run. SpongeBob! Isn't he the final thing of the, the battle pass? Ah! Bruh! We did it, we did it. And we're in first, nice. Three, two, one. Nice. Bum, 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 bum. Dang, like half of the people are gone. <laughs>
Let's go. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Oh, my. I hate this level with a passion. I always lose. Damn, I didn't expect him to... Oh, my God. Ah! Damn, I hate it. Oh, my God, the logs. Logs! It's like that stupid running Stimpy thing. Oh, I hate this guy. All right, quick and steady. Here we go. One, two, move. Yeet! No! I always this is this is where I lose every single time. This is where I lose every single time. It's not here. It's at these things. I lose every single time. Oh my god, I made it. The team's relying on me. Oh my god. My god. No! Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Oh, I did it! Qualify fifth, we lost anyway. This, that, that is hands down the worst mode in Falls, gu Fall Guys, by far. By far, the worst. We'll play one or two more rounds. We'll play one or two. Bruh. <laughs> was I wearing a purple shirt in the video? Oh my god, I was. <laughs> How do they pick up on this stuff? Oh no, they shouldn't be learning English off of me. I speak awful English. <laughs> no! God bless them. Oh no. I speak such bad English. If they want to learn uh, broken New York uh, English, I'm the I'm the guy to go to, but uh What can you do? I appreciate that though. I gotta reply to them. What are we doing? Squads again? Solos? Solos. Ooh, they almost got us in that one. Nice. I usually get hit by the propeller on this one every time. Bruh! Touch me, don't touch me! Bro, what a hater! Thank you! Alright, I gotta reply to this very nice comment.
Wow, wait, it's already over? Shh, I'm not gonna be able to reply in time. Too many emojis. Let's do this. Oh, I love actually. I love this. Uh, uh, emoji. Ah, damn, that's a big ass banana. Oh no, I lost. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, I was about to throw in. Bro, I got killed by the watermelon. What is this? Hmm. This is the most difficult opening to a Fall Guys game I've ever played. Get out of here, Among Us! Go, go on a vent! Oh my god. Bro, I, I, I usually love watermelon. Like, I love it, but I literally hate him right now. Bro, stop! We lost, it's over. Damn! That was the hardest one I've ever dealt with! I think we're gonna do one more. Jesus, what a nightmare that was. Treetop tumble. Navigate the obstacles and race to the finish line. Oh, yeah, I played this before. I know this. Oh my god. Nice. Ezio, how you doing, buddy? Ezio, di tutti i differenti. Ciao, bella. Oh my, I'm done. Oh wow, I landed right where I need to be. We're playing squads and yet we got stuck with only one other person. Come on, man. Sometimes, I, whenever I play Apex or I play this game, I always get in a position where I'm down a player or two. Same thing with Fortnite. And I can use all the help I could get in Fortnite. My god. Whoa! We did it!
Come on, buddy, you got this. Come on, obscene octopus. You got this. What's going on, octopus? We qualified anyway. Stomping grounds. Run, 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 run. Oh, shiny mudkip. No, what color is shiny mudkip? Isn't he like? Brown or black or something? I think I like this the Swamper shiny version though. I remember I liked the shiny version of that one. Oh my god! I almost walked into that one. E Top 12 to qualify. As long as I stay alive, we should be good. Brick. Brick. Oh my god. Stay alive for three seconds. We're done. Alright, we're qualified. Yeah, beauty. We did it. Am I too loud? I hope not. Let's do this. Puzzle path. Follow the line that- Oh, I've never played this one before. This seems like fun. This is- this is a creative one. Well, we'll see, but it sounds creative. Follow the line that leads to the correct path. Oh, we don't have to follow the line. Do we? I'm in a squad of one. Uh. No, that's wrong. This might be right. No, it's not. That's wrong. This one. Gotcha. Oh, this one's borderline impossible. Nope, that's wrong. This one's possibly right. Did I just go back? What? Yeah. That one's wrong. This one might be right. Yeah, it's right. Let's try this one. Did I make it? Woo! 
Let's give this one a shot. I think I went back. It's either this one. No. This sucks. It might be the one all the way in front. Yeah! But we're not gonna qualify. That's a wrap. Reach round three, we could do that. Nah, we'll do that another day. At least we leveled up twice. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? There he is! Alright. I'm gonna finish up these comments and then uh, we're gonna switch over to something else. I love, I, this is something that I've noticed. Everyone, like, I call college college, right? But my cousins who were, who are in college or graduated college and everyone else on the face of the earth always call it uni or university. That's something I love. I don't know why, it's just like one of those like mini differences that is, that I just immediately pick up. Everybody's like, uni, uni, and I'm like, college? <laughs> College?
a piece oh, come on. of valuable. Let me read that comment. Let me see if it makes sense. That makes sense. Thank you for All right. <clears throat> comments are done. Replies to the most recent video comments are done. Okay. What are we doing? Oh, I know that wasn't the most entertaining thing ever, but uh, comments are important, and I really like communicating with my audience. All right. Uh, let's take the headphones off. We're not going to do Fall Guys for a second. We're probably going to switch to another game after I do something else. What we're going to do, I've never done this live, so hopefully it's not too boring. But what we're going to do oops, is we are going to discuss No More Dream. No More Dream, Lyric, Discussion. Just Switch to studio mode. Double check everything's right. Yes. Transition. Here we go. I'm gonna rewatch the music video to get a good feel for it again, and then we're gonna read through the lyrics. Bulletproof. God damn, Jim, what are you doing? We are bulletproof. We are we are bulletproof. We are bulletproof. We are we are bulletproof. Sugar. Certified Hood Classic.
알았어 엄마 지금 독서실 간다니까 <웃음> I didn't notice that before. Did he throw a basketball? This is the slickest thing. Let's go. Nice. All right. Great. Great. I like it more and more now that I'm uh, like now that I listen to it more and more. So let me actually. Okay, this is gonna be a little bit tricky. I'm gonna switch my screens for a second. I gotta do it so I can better get a look at it. This is the. I wish I had like a third monitor to be honest with you. Um, is there a way for me to do this? Extend the screens. Hopefully this doesn't glitch everything. No, I don't think it did. All right, let's move OBS over here. Okay. I'm in frame? Yes. Lights are on? Yes. Solid. Okay. All right, let me get out of studio mode. There we go. What is going on, ARMY? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if you're watching this on, on uh, Twitch stream, welcome to my Twitch. Today we are going to be discussing the lyrics to No More Dream. I know sometimes I accidentally said No More Dreams, but it is No More Dream. And I just rewatched the music video, thoroughly enjoyed it, as always, but we are going to be doing a deep dive into the discussion of the lyrics, thanks to Dual Set. If you're not familiar with Dual Set, check them out. So let's start it off. Hey you... What is your dream? Hey, you, what is your dream? Hey, you, is what, are you, what is your dream? This is, I believe, RM. What we're going to do is we're going to switch back and forth every now and then to the music video. And we're going to just double check everything. 
Yeah, so hey you, what is your dream? That's that is RM. Yeah. That is RM. Is your dream only that? Okay, I want a big house, big cars, and big rings. It's actually sugar. Yes, it starts with sugar. But actually, I don't have any big dreams. Haha. -ha. I'm really living an easy life. Even if I don't have a thing like a dream, no one says anything to me. Every single one thinks the same way as I do. The completely forgotten childhood that was filled with dreams. Don't worry about college. I'll go somewhere even if it's far away. Most good colleges are geographically uh, concentrated in Seoul, or Seoul, though there are a few exceptionally well-known private institutions elsewhere in the country. This is a term in Seoul, I gotta look up how to pronounce that, in Seoul, commonly used to describe universities. In there, gotcha. Whether students can get into Seoul universities or not is a major uh, criterion when evaluating their academic performances and even further their future career path and success. I'll go somewhere even if it's far away means that he will go to any college, not necessarily in Seoul, because getting the diploma is what matters more than what he learns. That is 100% true. That is 1000% true. Uh, I know that education is important and I'm not denying that getting an education is important and a lot of times, at least you know what from what i've heard when it comes to finding a job this is so this is how broken the system is when it comes to finding a job most places are you know they're like oh did you get a high school diploma at the minimum did you get a college diploma at the minimum did you get a doctorate you know they 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 don't even necessarily sometimes care what you learned like exactly what they said it doesn't matter what they learned. What matters is getting that piece of paper. Because a lot of times employers say, if you were able to get the diploma, that means you were able to be, you were able to structure yourself and pass, which it, which which means that you are somewhat reliable and you are self sufficient. Because in college they don't hold your hand. They say if you fail, you fail. Goodbye. We take your money. You get nothing. Goodbye. But if you manage to graduate, it shows the employer at the minimum, he if even if he doesn't know anything, we can teach him it because he'll be able to learn it and he's self-sufficient. That's exactly the reality of the situation. Exa it doesn't matter what you learn. Most of the time people go to college and they get degrees and then they end up in a job that's not even the same thing. It's, 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 it really is just disgusting to me how much money is wasted 50% uh, of the time. That is 100% true. 1000%. And it's I I love the fact that in in South Korea and in America and I'm sure everywhere else in the world it's the same damn thing. It's the same damn thing. Okay, mom. I told you I'm on the way to the library now. Pronounced I don't know how to pronounce that. Dosiosil. Literally means a room where you read books. It's, it's actually very different from a library, but I can't think of a non-Korean equivalent of it. It's a mostly private facility where people, mostly high school students and young adults preparing for exams, go to study. Even though the layout varies across different locations, it looks like this. Uh, basically, you pay a monthly fee and get a desk with a small cabinet. It's extremely quiet. Think about an extremely quiet version of the desk area of a school library. The one I went to in my senior year of high school opened from 9 a.m. and closed at 2 a.m. seven days a week. God damn. That, that's most likely the situation that I had when uh, in college as well. So at my, at my college, uh, Rutgers, uh, you can go to the library and rent out a room. It's completely free, and you can use their facilities. I don't know how, how long they're open, but being open from 9, from 9 a.m. to 2 a.m. is pretty damn intense. That's a late-night session. I'll be honest with you. Some of the exams I've taken, I'm studying all night because it's just not clicking with me, and I have to just study, and I have to just study, and I have to just study. Yeah, so this is the same. I'm going to the library now. Same basic gist. You go to the public library. You go to the thing. If you're in a college and they have libraries, you can rent out rooms and everything. Yeah, same thing. Different locations, different circumstances a little bit. Same damn gist, I guess. What is the you that you've dreamed of? What do you see in the mirror now? I gotta say, go your own way. Even if you live only one day, do something. Put your weakness away. Why aren't you saying anything? 
You said studying isn't your thing. Let me let me rewind for a second. What is the you you dreamed of? I don't know. <laughs> The relation I have, the, the my basic understanding of the song, the gist of the song, I get it. What is the dream you dreamed of? I don't know. I'm sure I dreamed of something different when I was younger. <laughs> what do you see in the mirror now? Me. Go your own way. Even if you live only one day, do something. That, that right there, to me, it means do what you want to do and live. If you're not doing what you want to do, are you actually living? That's the that that's what I take away from it. Are you living? This is where it gets like really really tricky. This is why youth and young people, tens, twenties, they don't have responsibilities. They don't have things. If they are only responsible technically for themselves, then you can do what you want without any really terrible consequences. Go your own way. Do what you want to do for that day. That's when you're actually living. Now, if you take into, you know, if you unfortunately were, uh, you know, uh, have a kid or you have to take responsibility of someone else, that's a little bit different. But they're not talking about that. That's not what they're referring to. Do something. Put your weaknesses away. This is, this is me. This is a lot of us. Not just me. This is a lot of us. We hesitate to do things because we're too, ner we're too nervous about what everyone else will think. Even just sheer embarrassment. You do something, you mess up, you're embarrassed, you don't want to do it away. Put your weakness away. Put your fear away. Why aren't you saying anything? You said studying isn't your thing. No, it ain't. You're actually scared to drop out of school, right? Look at you. You're already preparing to go to school. Please grow up. Dude, you're just all talk with a glass mentality. It literally means a glass mentality. It is slang for a very weak mentality that's easily discouraged. Stop attacking me. I feel attacked. <laughs> I feel attacked. This is me. This is me. Easily discouraged. Now, I will say, I was not only... I'll get a little bit deep over here. I wasn't only discouraged because I was nervous about what everyone else said. I'll be honest. I didn't... My... Uh, I, I was always hesitant to do things because if I did something wrong, my dad would not be happy. He would be embarrassed, and then I would have it because he was embarrassed of me m messing up. And it was, it, it didn't end bad. It did, it, no, it ended. Sometimes if it was bad, it was just bad. And yeah, when you're in those predicaments, just get out when you can and then work on yourself and put yourself in positions that may make you uncomfortable to, to a level that you're uncomfortable, that you're comfortable with. Be uncomfortable to a level that you're comfortable with and grow off of that. That, I, uh, uh, that's... That's a little too much. <laughs> Ask yourself if you have ever tried hard. Hey, you, what is your dream? What is your dream? What is your dream? <sighs> Which part is this? I think we transitioned over to... I think this, this is Sugar. I don't remember Sugar having any, like, throw-in English lines... So I can't make sure. Hold on a second. Subtitles? Subtitles are on. Yeah. Subtitles are on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to look at the one, the, the 1K version. That's okay. We'll just read the lyrics. It's a lie. You such a liar. See me, see ya. Oh, that's English. Right? Isn't that the part in English? No, this is JK. Hold on a second.
He's the one who says library. That's why he goes like that. I always thought it was funny, but that makes sense. He's talking to his mom. Oh! That's JK. Gotcha, okay. Alright, let's go back to the lyrics. It's a lie. You're such a liar. See me, see ya. You're a hypocrite. Why do you keep telling me to go a different path? Hey, take care of your own business. Please don't force me. This is the this is the chorus. Please don't force me. What is your dream? What is your dream? What is it? So what I also took away from this, and uh, I might be wrong on this one, we're not done with the lyrics yet. The the big gist of this one, no more dream. No More Dream, the title of the thing is sort of saying when you grow up, the dreams get shattered. You know, reality hits you in, a, in the face. But when you're younger, you have all these dreams, you're all excited, you're everything. You know, I wanted to be this, I wanted to be that. But then you have the pressure of your parents, which happened with me uh, to, to some degree, uh, where they want you to be successful and they mean well they really do they want you to go to school they want you to get an education they say hey this is a really good paying job you should become a lawyer you should become a doctor you should become uh, a teacher you well, te well teachers don't get paid as much as they should but you know job security you should work at the at the in the government things like that they mean well but they're pushing the, their dreams that they want for you on you so your dreams are now being replaced by their dreams for you. It's not even that they wa they want to do that work. They want you to do that work, not because of being any of malice. They want you to be successful. But are you successful if you're miserable? Please don't force me. Take care of your own business. That's something that you would want to say to your you would never I wouldn't, but you would want to say to your parents. It's like I got you know I want to go on a different path, not the one that you want me to go on. Mind your business. Now, you can't say that to your parents. Well, maybe some people can, but I wouldn't be able to. Don't force me. And then this over here, what is your dream? What is your dream? That's not them talking to their parents. It's them talking to us, the listener. What is your dream? It is only this way. It is only this way. Right there. Right there, right there, right there, right there. Adults and parents forcefully instill dreams that are molded. Government employee! Oh, my God! <laughs> Government employee, I didn't even think that was coming up. Oh my god, gotcha. Same thing every day, every day, repetitive day. Number one, dream job, a government employee. As the economy slows down, the youth, I mean, uh, the youth unemployment rate keeps remaining very high in Korea. A lot of students now wish to become government employees for the sake of job security. A majority of students state that they'd want to become government employees in surveys. Yep. I guess it's the same over there as it is over here. You work for the government, you never get fired. You never get fired. And you have the best benefits on the face of the earth. Is the job extremely high paying? Not necessarily. But you know that income is always there. Do you know, I ha I tried so bad to get a job at my local government. I tried. I was going to work there for free. The people that work there are 80 years old. They don't leave. Oh my, and you can't get in unless you know somebody. Oh my God. I'm literally, I'm not, I'm not the problem, but like I wanted a job there that way I could have job security and I could do whatever I wanted in my own time. Oh, it's too good. It's too strong. The lyrics are too good. These are too good. It's not a forced dream. 
a relief pitcher in the bottom of the ninth. That's not a four stream, being a relief pitcher. Sh note, sugar wraps until this section, which rhymes with this other section. And J-Hope completes the word by starting with, that's why the baseball's in there. I always thought it was weird that they that they had the baseball in there. That's what he's referring to. Ooh, I like that. This seems to be a strategic part division in to, to highlight the rhymes. For those who are not familiar with baseball rules, a relief pitcher in the bottom of the ninth appears when the away team is tightly leading the game or the game is tied in the final inning. A relief pitcher on the way on the away team has to keep the lead or the team loses. Ooh, that's kind of a lot of pressure. That's kind of a lot of pressure. Wow. Okay. A lot of pressure. All right. God damn. Throw a fastball. That might be when he's throwing it in the music video. Throw a fastball to self-study time is a waste of time. A lot of Korean high schools have this, which requires high school students to stay in school and study on their own unless they have a valid excuse. Hold on a second. This is where like the, the cultural differences come into play and I need to I need to educate myself. A lot of Korean high school students have this. Where is this? It's right there. Which requires high school students to stay at school and study on their own time unless they have a valid excuse. So this the high school the high schools require the students to stay at school to study more, even though school is over. Now in America that would be illegal. But most of the time in America, just because you don't stay at the school doesn't mean that you don't go home studying. I know a lot of I, I had a lot of friends in high school that used to do that. The regular class time is from eight to nine to five, even longer than over here. And then students have until 9 to 10 after dinner. And some students would go to blah, 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 explained above. Wow. Wow. I didn't know that. Damn. Whew. Rebel against this hell-like society. Give your dream a special pardon. I remember that when I listened to this song for the first time, I thought he said dick. <laughs> oh, God. Instead of hell. This dick-like society. I mean, it could be, the, you know. And wondered how it didn't get censored. Dick-like is a curse word similar to fucking. So I'd say... It's very likely that the pronunciation was intentional. Rebel against this hell-like society. Rebel against this fucking society. Rebel against this dick-like society. Give your dream a pardon. Give your dream a chance. Jesus Christ. Ask yourself what the profile of your dream is. Now, this is one that I sometimes see. They use the word profile. I'm not sure what they're using profile in context in. Ask yourself what the profile of your dream is. Maybe it could be like, what is your dream? What does your dream intend? What does your dream job have you do? Stuff like that. Be the subject of your own life that has only been suppressed. Be the subject as opposed to the object. Oh, yeah, okay. Be, take control of your life. Own your life. Do not be suppressed. Do not be the object in your life. Do not let other people dictate how you live your life. Live it, even for only one day. Call back to the previous lyric. What is the you that you've dreamed of? What do you see in the mirror now? What is the you that you've dreamed of? Uh, this is a lot of motivational things, and if you read motivational books, they tell you what is the you that you want to be. Take, Build towards that goal of who you want to be. What do they do? How do you become the person? You're not going to be that person the next, the following day. You're not going to be the person even, even two weeks, three weeks, a year from now. But what does it entail? What do you need to start doing in order to be, eventually become that? Go your own way. 
Even if you live only one day, do something. Put your weakness away. This is the course. This is great. This is a really good message. I'm going to give my... We're, I, we're not done yet, but I'm going to give my thoughts on it at the very end. I think this is... Uh, This, who is this at the end? Is this, um... Okay, this is the part where they all just jump in. Gotcha. You don't know how to live through. You don't know how to fly away. You don't know how to decide. Now you don't even know how to dream. Open your eyes. Yeah. When you have all these people telling you what to do, you start getting confused. When you're at that young age... Everything is changing. Let's take a high school student, for example, or a middle school student. That's when they're. That's when things get extra complicated for you. It's such a. It's such a bad time in your life. I'll be honest. That's when you start going through puberty. So you start getting confused already. Things are changing with your body. The hormones are raging. You're already confused. What the hell is going on? <laughs> all right. Then, and that's also the time period when all the pressure is thrown on you. When you're going through puberty, you're going through high school. They tell you these are the most, you know, you feel that these are the most important times of your life because of all the social pressure, not even from your parents. You take the you take the pressure of the high school itself, the, who's hooking up with who, I like this person, they don't like me, I look weird, my acne's coming in, I'm all confused, everything matters, they're gossiping about this, oh my god, my life is ruined, none of that shit matters. As an adult, even when the moment you step into college, you already know that none of that shit matters. It's a brand new world, right? You graduate college, it's already a brand new world. But when you're in the middle of it, it's insanity, okay? It's insanity. And you take all of that, what I was talking about, and then you throw on, you need to be successful. Right here, you're in high school, you need to go to college because you need to study this, because you need to get a good job. And it's not wrong. It's not 100% inherently wrong. And like we discussed earlier, the parents are not being malicious because it is important. When you're in high school, the only thing that matters really is to, is to remain true to yourself, try to remain calm, do not really care about other people's opinions of you, and get good grades and get an education to get into a good school. That is important. A lot of the other social stresses don't really matter. But if you have something that you're truly passionate about, Figure out how to monetize it. Not even like, you know, monetize it in the sense of like, you know, monetization, YouTube, blah, blah, social media, whatever it may be. If you really like something, there's going to be a way for you to get into that field and succeed at it. It doesn't need to be a doctor. It doesn't need to be a lawyer. Do you like helping people? Do you know, uh, you know, you could go into, you can, you can be a social worker. You can help people really make a, an impact on people you could you could work at a nonprofit and still get paid you can do all these different things as long as you're making enough money to survive which is very important and, and you find and you find not, not not success but happiness in your work that's you really living do you need to make sure that you have income absolutely but the stresses they need to be dampened a little bit they really, really do. And I'm going to give more thoughts on that once we hit the end of the song. Because the message here is great. Uh, and I want to add to it. From some experiences that I've gone through. Open your eyes. Open your eyes, eyes, eyes. Then the dream again. That's the other thing I want to mention. Like I said earlier, when you're in high school, you don't, you, you, your dreams are no longer relevant. It's all the social pressures. It's everyone around you that's in your age group. 
and all your peers, and it's everyone, it's everyone who's trying to guide you to be successful. There is no time to dream. People are dreaming for you. Not malicious. But it can have a negative impact. Dream again, everyone. Don't hesitate. Don't be indecisive. Mind your own business. To all the youngsters out there without dreams. That's where it is. That's how it ends. To all the youngsters out there without dreams. All the youngsters out there with all these pressures. All the youngsters out there in high school, going to college, graduating college. Ooh. It's very stressful. It's extremely stressful. The oceans. The deserts. Ooh. Okay. So I just want to add on this a little bit, okay? When I was... When I was in high school and now, and then college and everything, right? I thought I, I knew what I wanted to do. <laughs> and I went into college and I figured out that the thing that I wanted to do was not the thing that I wanted to do. My best advice to everyone is the following. When you're in, high, when you're in middle, elementary school, middle school, high school, do well. Get good grades. Um, I'll tell you this right now. Everything I learned in high school, barely, barely nothing's retained. A lot of the math skills retained because I used the basic ones on a daily basis. But, you know, have I used geometry? No. Is geometry important for some jobs? Yes. But overall, no. I haven't used geometry. No. Uh, things that I learned in English class, you know, with uh, Mark Twain in those books, there can be wisdom to be found in them and then you can rep repurpose them and repackage them into other things, sure. But, you know, outside of that, no, uh, a lot of the things in high school, not not partnering. It's 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 the skills you develop in high school that matter, not necessarily the knowledge. That's the key thing. It's the skills, figuring out the problem, even if you don't know it, breaking it down. That's the important thing. In college, you switch majors. You're you're confused. You know, you, oh, I want to do this. Actually, no, I don't. No, I don't. I don't want to do this. The best advice I could give to someone is have your dreams, work on your dreams, and try to succeed in them as much as you can. And it's important to get a good paying job. It's it, it's not, it's not, like I said, it's not, they're not being malicious. But if your dreams, you know, are very difficult, get a good paying job and work on your dreams as well. Don't, don't throw them. Don't throw them away. Do them. Do what you want to do. And try to form that dream into something that can really succeed in life. Don't throw the dreams out. Sometimes you gotta, you got to split the time where you got to do work that you don't want to do and then you can do what you actually want to do. And hopefully you can build off of what you actually want to do later. Because you don't want to be someone who doesn't have any income. That's a bad position to be in. But that's what I would recommend. That's sort of what I did. And... Um, yeah, here we are. Uh, the biggest takeaway I have from this song is it there. I don't think BTS is telling you not to go to college, not to be successful or whatever. I think they're trying to make sure that this, that the youngsters, the young people, the tens and twenties, they don't lose their mind with the stress. That is such a big problem. The pressure. It's the pressure that does you in. Nothing else. It's the pressure. <laughs> That's my takeaway from this song. Dream. Be happy. Relax. Relax. Great song. Great message. Great song. Great message. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Uh, what did you take away from the song? Was I wrong? Was I off? Was I partially right? Was I partially wrong? Did I nail it on the head? I don't think I did. A lot of a lot of artwork like this is just music. This is lyrics. A lot of artwork. There is no right 100%. There is no wrong 100%. Well, you might be 100% wrong if you start thinking about something completely different. I don't think they're talking about Legos, but I didn't take that away. But there is no 100% right. It's art. It's interpretation. It's the way that you take away from it. So let me know in the comments down below what you think it is. How much did I get right? How much do you disagree? Conversation. You know I read those comments. I appreciate all of it. We're going to switch full screen for a second. Do a proper closeout. And that'll be that. There we go. So, 
Lyrical lyrical analysis of the song, solid. Solid, solid, solid. Um, no more dreams. Next up, we have to do the lyrical analysis of We Are Bulletproof Part 2, and then skits and with the final review. So thank you for being a part of this. Let me know what your thoughts in the comments down below in regards to No More Dream. Keep dreaming. Stay positive. Stay hydrated. Uh, stay in school. Get an education. But relax. That's the most important thing of it all. Relax. Keep dreaming. Keep working towards your, 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 your goals and your dreams. It's the year of the rabbit. I wish you best of luck. And quick, quick success in whatever you want to accomplish. Thank you. I purple you. Keep dreaming. All right. That was good.